my beauty peeps, it's Jessica Sue, and welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to talk about Joe Blasco Ultra Base Cream Foundation. This foundation is incredible. Uh, so Joe Blasco has been around in the industry um, as a celebrity makeup artist for over 50 years. I have read many of his books. Um, I have watched his tutorials. He is absolutely incredible. And I am embarrassed to say I've never used his products. I'm not sure why, but I've never used his products. And lately, Kim Kardashian has come out with a Instagram video using this Ultra Base foundation. And I was like, oh, you know what? I need to check that out. I need to try that. I've never tried it. So you know how crazy I am about cream foundations. Absolutely love cream foundations. So I quickly got online and found um, samples. So I purchased some samples of the product because there's so many different shades. I think he has 38 shades in his whole collection. And they're all under certain like natural olive, um, special light olive so it's kind of um, confusing to know what shade is the best shade for you so I was like you know what? I'm gonna order samples first and check out the product and I got many many samples these are amazing because you get so much product in these samples um, look at how much that's gonna last me forever um, the full compact is only $28. And I'm just going to read a little bit about the product. Okay, so it has a natural collection, an olive collection, special olive collection, a ruddy, tan, and special dark collection. Uh, let's see. The cornerstone of Joe Blasco line, Ultra Base Foundation, is highly pigmented. And it is. You need so little of this product. Um... You need a very thin application to achieve incredible coverage. Ultra Base is non-oily, lightweight, and will not streak, crease, or discolor. So it doesn't oxidize. It just looks so beautiful. It looks skin-like on your skin, and it feels like you have nothing on. It is not heavy at all. It has um, over 30 colors, uh, perfect long-lasting foundation for all skin types. Um, and I know I've been, since I've been using the product, I've been watching Joe Blasco's videos. He has, if you go to his website, he has tons of videos and he, it's great to watch. I mean, he's just, in, he's so brilliant, so brilliant. And he also has a corrective line. So he has orange one, orange two, um, great for under, under eye darkness, any shading. He has a contour line, highlight line. I'm just like blown away. And then he also has foundation sponges, not like a beauty blender, but sponges that you can use dry or wet. Okay, so we're gonna go right into it. Um, yep, they're $28. And I, I tried the olive because again, I have very neutral undertones, but I have a lot of peach. So I'm not so much of the pink, I have a lot of peach. So I don't like to go too warm, but I like to kind of stay right in the middle. So of course, I'm mixing natural beige two and olive beige one. So I'm mixing those two together. I think in the summertime, I could probably actually use olive beige two, but for now I'm very fair. So I'm just mixing those two. And this is, um, we're gonna get right into it. I, I prepped my skin. I wanted to talk to, talk to you about this first. Um, Revision Skincare um, IntelliShade True Physical Anti-Aging Tinted Moisturizer with Sunscreen. Okay, so this is what I'm using right now. I go be, with this one or the Elta MD and um, has zinc oxide and it has titanium dioxide. So there's like, very no chemicals in this um, I love this it hydrates the skin and sometimes I'll just put this on and nothing else but I absolutely love this so I have my truth treatment system on I have my um, 
my eye cream, and then I have my vitamin C serum. So that's what I put on, and then I put on my sunscreen because I'm hoping to go out walking this morning. And so we're gonna get right into it. I'm gonna show you how much product I use, okay? So this is how much product I use. Very, very little, right? I probably won't even use it all. So my skin is prepped, I'm gonna go in. Okay, so I like to, you know, I have a little bit of, um, you know, hyperpigmentation here. Um, I like to go in and cover anything that I have from, you know, old acne scars. So again, because I've been working on my skin, I don't want that full coverage makeup. I want something so quick, so easy. This literally takes me five minutes. Because I'm talking, it's gonna take me a little bit longer, but you can get this down in under 10 minutes at home. I promise you, you can. Okay, so I am going to just mix this up, okay, so it's nice and smooth. I'll mix it up on my palette. Sometimes I'll just work on the back of my hand, which I'm gonna actually move it to the back of my hand because sometimes the warmth of your body, okay, will just warm up the product. So you can see it's very emollient, right? I love this, I just love it. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and I think I'm going to use, so I've been, I'm gonna show you a couple ways. I've been using um, this nice little Kevin O'Coin um, brush, okay? So I've been using this, actually, this is what I received when I got his cream foundation, but I'm gonna use this today and then I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender. So I just start, obviously, where I wanna cover up the most, okay? You can start in the center of your face, but I like to start in my chin area and then go down to my neck and my decollete. There's no, I mean, you can start wherever you want but I usually start where I want the heaviest coverage. And so I've been able to check out a lot of different types of makeup on this little shelter in place. So I've been playing a lot with makeup. I miss my prom girl so much this year. And what I usually do is every year I clean up my makeup kit and just purge everything and they get new makeup. And I didn't do that this year because I didn't really need to. So I'm kind of just checking out new products. Hopefully this will be over soon. I always go down to my decollete, okay? Because you want to make sure you don't have any demarcation. Get the girls. Get the girls in there. So you can see, I mean, how quick that was. And beautiful coverage. Like, look at that. Just absolutely beautiful. And then I'll just go in, and I'm going to go in and push this all in a little bit further with my Damp Beauty Blender. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in, grab the rest of the product, and then, like I said, he has um, sponges too that I want to try that are supposed to be really good. I've been wearing this for a while, no breakouts, no problems, just an incredible line. Um, and I know it's a favorite, like I said, Kim, Kim Kardashian was using it. Um, Angelina Jolie is just on her cover, um, a magazine that she was just recently on. I'm not sure what cover it was, W maybe or maybe Vogue. Um, but she was wearing the Natural Beige too. His videos are great. Um, he's actually a great, funny guy. And just brilliant. Okay, so see, I love this color. Joe, if you're watching, can you just combine these two together <laughs> for me and call it Jessica Sue? <laughs> because he did just name, um, uh, what is it? Olive Beige 3 is now Kim Olive, be Olive Beige 3 because that's her color. So, yeah, just do that for me. You know, I'm a huge fan. Okay. But that means he'd have to make up a whole new formulation for me. All right, so that 
is the coverage, okay? Very easy. Um, gives a nice skin-like finish. I feel hydrated. I feel like I have nothing on. I feel like I have nothing on my skin. I mean, it's just beautiful. And if you get really close, because I always do, I get very close and to my mirror, my magnifying mirror, I mean, you cannot see. It just, you know I love this. It melts into your skin, but it does. I say it all the time. I want something that melts into my skin, that comes be, becomes your skin, okay? I don't want it to look cakey. Um, I've been wearing this and I've been walking and I don't have, sometimes your makeup will pill, you know, and when you're sweating, it's like nothing. Nothing's going on. It's beautiful. So I do love it. Okay. All right, so that is the coverage, all right? And then I'm gonna go in with just um, some brightening underneath my eyes. I have ordered the orange number one for underneath my eyes, it has not come in yet. Um, so I am going to get that because that will brighten up your eyes. I have some darkness under my eyes um, and I'm, you know, I'm probably gonna get that fixed <laughs> eventually. Um, I don't know, a little bit of filler on there. I just have hollowness under my eyes and it's driving me crazy. I'm turning 50 in November and I'm like, you know what? I need to, I need to do something with this. It just, it absolutely, it's like the first thing I go to. So um, I may just do something, I don't know. But I'd like to try his orange number one. And I always have told you guys, you know, to, for darkness, orange or peach is really good for underneath the eyes. And that's what I use on my clients. So I am gonna use a peachy color, okay? And this is the e.l.f. Um, this is a great concealer. I'm gonna mix this. I'm gonna mix this with um, a little bit of my Makeup Forever, okay? So I'm just gonna mix these two. And I don't go crazy under my eyes. I just, you know, I don't want that, I, I, again, I don't want it to look so I want a brightness, but I don't really want it to look like a line, you know, that triangle. I don't love that. So I just put it right into my beauty blender and then I go under. So I still have some of that makeup from the cream foundation and I'm just kind of pushing that in. I'll go around my nose and then I'll go on my forehead. And you can already tell it kind of just gives you a little bit of that brightness okay and then I'm just gonna go in and pat that and then I'll bring it around use my fingertips so I don't have any nails but I will tell you guys that I've ordered some product online um, I heard I saw it on one of my girlfriends tried it um, and of course all my nails broke, you know, I was doing the powder. All my nails broke and I ordered, I will show you the product um, after I do this. It's called Rebel Nails and it's amazing. Like my, it's, I love it. So easy to do. They have thousands of colors and I, I, it looks so good. I mean, my nails are so short right now, um, but I wanted to put something on them so they wouldn't, keep you know breaking they were just yeah not good so I do love this it's just a pretty nude color and I posted something on my Instagram about it in my stories but I do love this product and it was so easy to use so easy to do um, I will tell you though you make sure you have like a 150 or 180 grit um, file nail file I just ordered some I didn't so it's a little rough in a few areas, but it's not the product. It's just because my nail file wasn't able to get it nice and smooth. So I'm gonna do them over. And um, yeah, we ordered some new colors. I love it. Okay. All right, so that is all I'm gonna do. Okay, so you can see it kind of brightened underneath my eyes a little bit. 
And then I'm gonna go in with, I'm not even gonna contour today. I'm not doing anything crazy. I'm just gonna go out walking. So I'm going to use, because you can never have enough sunscreen, this is the Color Science Sun Forgettable Total Protection Color Bomb. This is awesome. And you can use this on your lips and you can use it on your cheeks. The color that I have is called Blush. And it's just warm, kind of warms up your body, um, warms up your face a little bit, gives you some contour, but not, you know, so heavy with the contour. And I really have been enjoying this. And I will tell you, this cream foundation works so well with others. Like you can put cream foundation, blush, you can put cream foundation, use the product, and then put blush into it. You can put powder into it. It just it works really good. I set my, my, you know, setting spray and it just really, it plays well with others. So I'm going to go here and just give myself a pop working up because I'm really not going to contour too much today. Um, so I'm just going to go right up. Pretty, right? Very, very pretty, so pretty, right? Just a nice little pop. And I am going to add a little bit more blush to that and a little bit of bronzer, but not so crazy today. Not that I go crazy. I just, I'm not going to use the cream contour today. Um, again, very simple, very easy. I've only used three products so far, okay? So from there, I'm going to go right to my eyes, okay? So I've already just kind of used a little bit of the soap brow on my eyebrows. I'm not going to even fill these in. I'm just going to keep them very natural. Okay. I don't know what this hair is doing. Oh gosh, this hair, man, it's just growing. It's growing. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to go in with soft brown, very easy, soft brown. Okay. This is from Mac. Listen, I know sometimes we don't want to do anything with our eyes. Um, but you want everything to balance, okay? So if you're going to go with the bronzer and the blush and the foundation, put a you can use one shadow, okay? You don't need to use 10 different shadows on your eyes. As we get older, less is more, okay? So that's where we show the signs of aging in our eyes, around our eyes. So you don't want to, you know, I feel like the skin itself and maybe a nice pop on your lips or a nice blush, like I've been going into the blush lately. Um, will give you that nice youthful glow. And so I'm going to go in with just a very simple eye look like I always do. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to windshield wiper. I'm looking straight into the mirror because I have a little bit of a hooded eye. I'm going to go up a little bit higher, right? We had talked about that. Okay, windshield wiper. And then I bring it out a little bit. Just, just gives a nice definition. And honestly, I could have used my, um, my bronzer too. I could have used my bronzer that I'm using, but I love the soft brown, it's so pretty. Okay, and then I'll go over, same thing. Just looking straight. No primer on my eyes. I'm not, you know, I'm just giving a nice polished look. Okay, so, and then I always come to the side. Okay, so easy. And then I'm gonna take, this is called rice paper, okay? Just to highlight the top nothing crazy again this is just a nice pretty color it's a staple and i'm just gonna go right up top here just a little bit it has a little bit of a sheen to it just to define that arch okay i don't even know if you can even notice the difference but just to give a little definition there so do that and then i'm gonna go underneath you know i never Ever line my eyes something I've been doing for years I don't know I just never line my eyes 
unless I do a waterline, I'm not lining with eyeliner underneath my eyes. Um, if I ever have, I've used like a gel, smudged it, and then applied it. Um, I just don't want it to look like raccoon eyes. And because I never put mascara on my lower eyes, when I'm using my powder and I'm going in there, I kind of just lightly touch my eyelashes, okay? Try to keep my mouth closed. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do. And I'm just gonna clean it up. All right, so, and then I'm gonna go with just a little deeper, it's like a cranberry color. This is also from MAC. Okay, really pretty color. Rusty, cranberry, pretty. And I'm just gonna go out to the... Outside. And just make sure everything's kind of you know, connecting. So, really pretty. Give it a little bit more depth. I just use that darker color on the outside. Okay, so I just use this darker color just on the outside and just really blend, blend, blend. This is a great brush. This is the M505 from Morphe. I love this brush. And then just clean up anything that you may have. Okay, so that's all I'm gonna do for the eyes. And then I'm going to throw on a little mascara. I love this mascara. Um, this is the Real Lash from Benefit. And just, again, nothing crazy. Nice and easy. And you want to fan them out a little bit. Okay, so my eyes are done. Okay, easy. Very, very easy. And again, you can just use one one eyeshadow just to give that contour, okay? Um, it could be a bronzer. Okay, so going from bronzer now, um, I have purchased a couple products on Sephora and I was smart. Uh, I knew I wasn't having any prom girls this year, unfortunately, so I didn't go crazy like I do every year. Um, I do love Hourglass. I have all of their ambient light, their highlighters, their contours, their br bronzers, blushes. I just love their product. So I picked up two of the mini, okay? So this is Diffuse Bronze Light and this is Luminous Light. Um, when we do get to travel, I'm hoping I can take these with me. They're so easy and they last for a very long time and they're, they're not as expensive, okay? So I'm gonna take my contour brush and I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer okay and just right up here this is a pretty pretty bronzer and then just out here make sure you get into the hairline Okay, and then I just like to do a little bit on my nose and then underneath. So just bring your nose up a little bit. Nothing crazy. Okay, so that is that, okay? So very pretty, simple. And then I'm gonna go in with, this is a new blush. Absolutely love this blush. It's so beautiful. It's from Bare Minerals and it's called Pink Sky and it's Bounce and Blur so pretty like look at this color right isn't that so beautiful and it's so soft love it okay so very easy with this i'm gonna go in with my these brushes um 
eco tools. I love this. And then pop here. Okay, and then pop. Okay, so just brighten that up. And then I'm going to go in with my ambient light, which is here, okay? I'm gonna take my fan brush, so ambient light, fan brush, and then I'm just gonna go right around the tops of my cheekbones, maybe here, a little bit there. This is beautiful. It's like that candlelight glow, and then right there. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, and we're gonna go and set everything. Today I'm going to use, I use a lot of the Christopher Buckle uh, transparent, translucent, translucent setting powder. I've been using that, but because I want a little bit more of a glow, I'm going to mix the Laura Mercier, Mercier with, and this is the translucent glow with, I can't talk today, um, with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless, love this. You can see I already have pan. And this I love, 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 love this. Okay, so I wanna mix these two because I'm like a little scientist and I love to mix. And I think it just gives a really pretty, pretty radiant look. But you don't have to do this. You can use any kind of setting powder that you have and this is my favorite brush. I love this brush. This is from Sephora, and it was a Rouge, VIP Rouge um, gift, and I just love this, and I can't find it. They don't, like, make it. Okay, so I have this, and then this, and I'm just gonna make sure I don't have a lot of product, so I'm just gonna go around, brush it in, the girls okay so that is all I'm gonna do and then I'm gonna throw on the lip so the lip so many so many messages on Instagram what was that color I had this is actually the same look that I did on my Instagram post um, I think last week and said I was gonna do a video and um, so the lip color I went in with a lip liner from Mac okay and just line my lips Sore, this is sore. So when I line my lips, I make sure that it's like in there, okay? So you can't see the lip liner. And then the color that I have, again, I'm into the mini things, I don't know why, but um, just being optimistic that we're going to be able to travel soon. And um, so this is called American Plus, I wanted to try it out. I wasn't sure if I was going to like their liquid lips, and I love their liquid lips. It's a beautiful, hydrating. It's 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 not matty. It's it's so pretty. So this is American Woman. Love this. Um, and just go in. I like the applicator. This is my husband's favorite color. It's so funny when I wear this, he's like, I had a sample. I had a sample, I tried it on, went downstairs and he's like, honey, I love that lip color. And then I purchased the mini and I had it on the other day and he noticed right away. See, just when you think they don't notice. But he noticed, he loves this color. So I let it dry a little bit. Um, and just clean up anything that I see that maybe, I think I'm gonna go in with my brows with the benefit. Uh, again, small. <laughs> because it's summer and it's just a habit that I do because I travel so much in the summer. So it's so easy to have these little minis. Most of these are just free from Sephora. 
Okay. So pretty, right? My bun is so big it doesn't even hit get into the camera. <laughs> okay, so my lips are dry and then I'm going to go in with a little bit of glow. And this is called cupcake. Okay? So just gives you a little bit more. Of. Of a pop. And that, that's it. So simple, so easy. You look polished. And I, trust me guys, this will take you under 10 minutes. I use very little product. In fact, I uh, use a little bit more than when I did the first time, but so easy. Check out these products. I'm telling you, Revision, this is awesome. My skin treatment, and then this is really cool too. I love all my little new minis. Um, love the nail system that I have. I will post, I will link everything um, down below so you can check it out. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I would love to see you come back. And I basically am doing makeup lessons, okay? I also have all of my workouts. I am a fitness instructor. I've been in the fitness field for ooh, many years and I have my own studio. So I do a ton of bar, ton of, um, you know, uh, weight training classes, um, so sculpting classes, so you need to check those out. And guys, thank you for joining me today. I hope that you try some of these products, and I hope that some of my tips help you out to um, make you feel beautiful and brilliant and just put together in these times that we're so not put together. <laughs> so I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Have a beautiful day and stay brilliant. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.